Jim. You're up to bat. Jim called me up and said he wanted a one by six with a switchable input. He wanted sideband delay. He wanted to operate standby. So that's what we got him. Operate, standby, one by six, straight six, sideband delay, and variable drive. Okay. EPD, 100 amp continuous duty transformer or 200 amp surge at 50% duty cycle transformer. Going into one, two, three, four, five, six 50 amp bridges, coming out and going across one, two, three electrolytic caps, coming out, going through a distribution bar, going through our blocking chokes, going to our output transformers. We got this lead coming around and going to our output transformer for our driver. Independently bias switched, and uh, there's a lot of stuff stuffed in a little cabinet. Voltage regulated fans, so no matter what, the fans will always turn at the same rate. Of course, ground lug and Bakelite connectors, not the Teflon gold coated ones that get hot and melt and then fall out and short on the inside of the cabinet. Yeah. Use the plastic that doesn't melt for the connector that gets hot. Gold's pretty, Bakelite better. Okay. Today we're going to use the 66B and the Stryker 955 HP. 1000 watt slug. 5 watt slug in reverse. We're going to work in 1x to start out with in PEP mode. On, operate, straight 6, no sideband delay. So 20 watts worth of drive. Hello, audio. Hello, audio. So 20 watts worth of drive. We're getting 600 watts out of that. Two watt day key. Click it down to the one pill driver, which is a 2879. Oh. Easily lays it over in the corner. Put that up in 2x. So now, remember, 1000 watts is right here at 50, right? We're going to go tickle the 1200 watt mark with 20 watts worth of input drive. Oh. Easily gets there. Please note the variable's all the way down. That's how sensitive this radio is. No audio. We turn this dead key all the way up. Remember, this is a two watt input drive dead key, Jim. No audio. But don't be deceived. We're going to go over here and we're going to go to the 1,000 watt mark. So full deflection on the meter is 1,000 watts. It's a 700 watt dead mall I just threw with a 1x6. Everybody else's would have been coming apart. Oh, oh, can't handle it, falling apart. All the way down, 2 watt dead key. BBI builds the cool shit. This is the variable all the way down. Jump over to the 955 HP, we'll be right back. Okay, so slap the tin on it. One, because I want to show everybody how pretty it was. And two, I wanted everything to get some air moving across it. This box utilizes, of course, my closed loop system. That's where I back off the or block off the back of the heat sink, because there's about a gap that goes from the end of the heat sink to the end of the cabinet. So I block that off. And up here in the front corner where the other end of the heat sink's at, I blocked this channel off. So all this air that's getting crammed through this cabinet right now has only got one choice. Comes down across the components, cools off the components, and then goes out the heat sink straight out. Now, unlike others, I don't put my bridge rectifiers back here in the corner of the cabinet where they can't get any airflow. I actually line them up in front of the, the heat sink so they're forced air cool. Every component that builds heat inside this box has got a heat sink attached to it and is forced air cooled. What I didn't show you before I switched radios was the input tune. Hello, 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 hello. Uh, bottom scale is the SWR. Hello, 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 hello. 
1000 watt scale. Hello. Oh, more than 2x scale. Hello. And that's with the one pill driver in line. We jump up to the six pill, just straight six, no driver in line. And we're going to swing BBI of 60, 70 watts into it. BBI. BBI. It jumps right up. Now, Jim, I hook my two pill up to this. And I slammed a whole lot of wattage into it because you're talking about using a a certain kind of radio that's got maybe a little bit more output, like 200 watts worth of output power into this. It handled it just fine. It produced about 14 and some change, 15 and some change. And please note, we're running on the lowest voltage tap. And you being an electrical guy, you'll know what this means. This is the code to everything. Your other tap wires are right here. Jim, I'm proud of it. It's amp number 1,387, and it's all yours. Oh, yeah. Hey, give me a call, would you, tonight, brother? I want to know if you want an operate indicator light, a six-pill indicator light, a sideband indicator light. We never covered any of that. So before I ship this thing out of here tomorrow, let me know. We'll take care of it. My name is BBI, and I am the biggest mud duck in Idaho. And there's no shame to my mud ducking game. Come check us out, www.bbiamps.com, or just simply call me on the phone. I see you. One more dude, 10-8, in this universe. And I just got down.